anybody home? Open up, it's safe now. Devils. Who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man. Nay, a wolf. Grey, though not old. Tis he the pillar awaits. This guy is a character? Need your help. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. A talesman. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. Aha! From what? So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the D. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic born of oblivion from dark sources emerged. Why? Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. I'm looking for Anna and her daughter. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? I have a feeling Anna did something bad that would have caused these spirits no, to come after no. her. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Oh, that could spirits. end badly. Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Seriously? Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Your goat is named Princess. Without the goat, impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. <laughs> he lost his goat. I'll find your goat, will you help? <sighs> will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Uh. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. Okay. You have a new quest item. Prepare for use by placing an appropriate slot in the inventory panel. Then select it from the quick access menu. To use the item, press or hold right bumper. Okay. Alright, so let us do that. We're looking for a freaking goat. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> uh, whatever. Oh, it's already in my pocket slot. Duh. Alright. Alright, let me try this out for size. That's cool. Nothing reaction yet. Oh, there mo there's gotta be monsters nearby. There's gotta be monsters. Where'd this freaking goat go? Wolf. Freaking wolf. Alright. Let's go, bro. Let's go! This is about where near, uh, Siri face wolf too, I think. I wonder if we'll find the corpse of the, uh, the wolf man. There we go. They did some hits. I hear a goat. Goat detected. Over there. Uh, he's closer. There's a sound over there. And there's a sound... There was a sound over there. So it's definitely behind us. Okay, that's the goat. Alright, goat. Where are you at, bro? Oh, okay. This is, uh, interesting. Don't, don't kill yourself, Geralt. Just slide down slowly. There we go. Bear. Oh. My gird is a bear. Alright, dude. Alright. Let's fight. Let's fight. 
Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let us fight. I'm ready for this. Oh boy, freaking bear. Okay. Come on. Okay, here we go. This bear is not tough. He's weak sauce. He is getting get killed. There we go. Down goes the beast. Cool. Now, I wonder if that goat's in the cave. Or is this just a giant bear cave? And I'm just trying to screw myself over by descending into the bear cave. Probably, because I'm on the edge of the bubble. I'm on the edge of the giant perimeter thing, so... Screw that. Okay, we went the wrong direction. Trying to find the goat. Winds howling. There's that goat again. Oh, is that it? That's it. That's the goat. There's the goat. Goat! There you are. Princess! Yay! Goat detected. Let's go see the beller. Goat confirmed. Goat Simulator 2 announced. Goat she Simulator 2 confirmed. Much. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on, damn it. So wait, these things are I have to watch out for the <laughs> watch Do out I for really the bushes. Have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow. This way, your grace. What's a Witcher compared to a patch of strawberries? It's probably like the best quote so far. Ah, ah! Keep following the bell. Where the hell do you go? Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Screw it. Yeah, proud of this area. Good thing I ran into him earlier. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, we're not. Yeah, I was gonna say because that that'd have been a problem if they kept going. All right, princess, we're gonna go this way. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Yeah, Scarol, it sucks, but we gotta return the goat. Dear God, what is this goat gonna get me into? Please do not stop. Please do not stop for a meal. Here we go. We're almost home. We're almost home. Almost home. I've been working on the railroad. Just come this way. Bring you home to your master. This freaking goat. No, 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 Ah, okay. I'm kind of glad I ran to the goat earlier. Nowhere inside. To be hey, look! A Free goat! From the pillar, for there, are wolves about. there you go. Goat of mine! Dearest, sweetest goat! Well. That's... Beautiful. <laughs> Will you help me now? Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, for a second and there, tomorrow, I thought he said, I'm kind of hungry. Danger. I'm like, uh, girl. The white <laughs> wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Okay. Fine. Be right back. <sighs> All these favors. Even girl is getting tired of the favor simulator. Will this do? Goat's milk and grain with rat's blood? Or just the rat? Ah, jeez. They are not here. There is God. Blood. I 
she blood. Who's? No one. No Kamara. Just the child. Siri. Or maybe it wasn't Siri. A child that lives not, yet did not die. Okay, not Siri then. Whose? Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant. She wow. was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. That is kind of private info, after all. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Baron have anything to do with this? The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is. And he's a fondness for Hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Huh. A magical goat. Confirmed. Okay, the child, what happened to him? What happened to the child? In a grave throne. Without right or ceremony, it awoke. What? Now it wanders. It seeks vengeance. <gasps> a botchling. A botchling? White wolf. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed. A cursed fetus, baby. Curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. I need to know where the botchling is. Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. Oh boy. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. This just gets stranger and stranger, but then again, it is the Witcher. And it is a lot of it is based on Slavic myth. And Slavic myth. Slavic myth I don't get a lot of it. Some of it is interesting. Some of it is just like, what? And I think I know why. Come on now. All right, botchlings. Let's read the bestiary on this. Where would that be? Cursed ones. Oh, that picture. Saving, saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie, but it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth either. And that was a quote by Lambert, a witcher. Botchings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies, discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is that of a particularly decayed fetus. Their unformed flesh, twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women, driven by mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. I have seen everything. Thank you, Witcher. I have seen everything. Okay. Talk to the Baron. This is not going to go over well. What if he didn't know? What if he didn't know that Anna was pregnant? Not Anna. Well, I mean, yeah, Anna. That's who it was, right? Pretty sure. But what if he doesn't know? Because then, then this is not going to go over well with him, like, at all. I don't imagine it will, at least. Here, get off the horse. Uh, can I make this jump? Sort of. There we go, I made it. Okay. Why is it on oh. fire? What happened to the castle? He set the stables on fire? Why? I'm so confused right now. And that, that dirt effect on the camera is not helping. Gotta wait, gotta get up properly. Oh boy. Something set the stables afire. And it's starting to rain too. Was it the wild hunt? That it'd be cold first. Oswin! Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. 
Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Oh, I've got to choose. Here's to see the Baron. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! All right. Let's save the people in the stables. Looks like rain. You. You. Where do I know you? Oh, he's drunk. All right. The I know no. your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating him for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Oh, jeez. I do not have enough time for this. I was supposed they to save the person in the stable. Day. I told them I would. Shit. Fire spray. I forget this guy. I can't. Fine, we're gonna have to do it. Let's make it quick. I gotta rescue the people in the stable. It might be too late. Ah, uh, it's probably too late to do it. We need to talk. Can we do it after the fire? I was supposed to rescue that... Dang it. Shit, I missed my opportunity. Whatever. What can you do? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they ran away. Or actually, let's ask, how did they get angry? Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. You knew they ran away. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? They didn't run away, you drove them out. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. So tell me how it really was. Alright, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. Oh. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. She was the one she fighting. Struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. You got a lot of stuff nothing. here, dude. Only the bottle. Hmm. What happened next? What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. 
I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed. Oh and boy. So it, it lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on blooded sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. What did you do with the child? Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? What was I to do? Took it out and buried oh, it. Oh boy. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Keep it together. How do you respond to this? Keep it together. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. Uh, You're a heartless bastard. I probably shouldn't have responded that way. Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? Monsters. Let me explain. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it might finally rest in peace. I'm all good with that, dude. Where do you bury the fetus? Show me. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Just try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Oh, jeez. We got our work cut out for us once again. Oh, we're doing it right now? Alright. A bit further. Follow me. Good thing the rain put out the fire. I hope it did at least. Oh boy. Give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Yeah, that would kind of help us uh, to identify with this the the cursed spirit, baby, the botchling. If watching Constantine has told me anything, I mean... <laughs> That's a good show, by the way. 